Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are all good. In this video students, we will be discussing important current affairs for the third week of the September month. The session will be quite interesting and important. So stay tuned till the end. We will be looking at 60 important current affairs that will be helping you in your preparation for competitive exams. Also students, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to us. We are one stop solution for current affairs. The content we provide is very interesting and important for all the competitive exams. Welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas Rana. We are one stop solution for current affairs. You can find our crack current affairs course on our application exclusively for current affairs where you will be getting daily, weekly and monthly current affairs on regular basis. You can use code Vikas10 to get additional 10% discount while purchasing the course. This video is available both in English and Hindi. The timestamp for both English and Hindi are mentioned in the description of each video. You can contact us on the number provided or mail provided. Also follow us on Telegram and Instagram and the link for the same is provided in the description of each video. Also students, we have started a new initiative that is of handwritten notes. It is helpful to understand the news daily, time saving and very useful for your revision. We aims to cover 15 questions via handwritten notes in upcoming bank exams. These handwritten notes are available on daily current affairs content PDF at our mobile application and website carriercloud.in. Only our crack current affairs subscribers will be able to access these handwritten notes. A sample PDF of the handwritten notes will be available in the description. Let's start. The first question is, in September, the Ministry of Defense approved Indian Navy's 2500 crore rupees plan to develop what? So it is Ministry of Defense. They have approved that Indian Navy's plan that is worth 2500 crore rupees and it is to develop an extra large unmanned underwater vessel. These vessels, they are expected to enhance the Indian Navy's capabilities that will enhance India's defense capabilities against the submarines of enemies. These extra large unmanned underwater vessels, they will be weighing more than 100 tons. Right, next. Which institution has recently notified as a public financial institution by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs under the Section 2 of the Companies Act of 2013. So, which is that institution? That is your National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. That is NABFID. Right? This has been now declared as the public finance, fi public financial institution. Right? This designation of public financial institution to NABFID will help it to finance large infrastructure projects, right? With the help of this PFI, right? NABFID will be able to finance large infrastructure projects. If we talk about NABFID, it was established in 2021, correct? Next. Which city has recently hosted Indian Defense Aviation Expo 2024? So, it is Jodhpur, Rajasthan, right? It hosted Indian Defense Expo or we can say India Defense Aviation Expo. It was held in Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Apart from this, the phase two of the exercise that is Tarang Shakti was also inaugurated and held in Jodhpur. And who is our defense minister? Rajnath Singh. He inaugurated this defense expo as well as inaugurated this exercise that is Tarang Shakti. Apart from this, remember in Umroi Meghalaya, in Umroi Meghalaya, nomadic elephant, nomadic elephant. This is the name of the exercise that was held between Indian Army and Mongolian Army and it was held on 16th of July. And it was concluded on 16th of July. And ap or apart from this, this nomadic elephant, this was the 16th edition of this exercise. Next, who has recently inaugurated Semicon India 2024 at India Expo Mart in Greater Noida, UP. So, Narendra Modi, our Prime Minister of India. He is the third time, third consecutive time Prime Minister of our India. This is 18th Lok Sabha. And he inaugurated this Semicon India 2024. Where was this held? It was held at 
India Expo Mart in Greater Noida Uttar Pradesh this greater noida friends remember it is one of the most emerging market in today's world the real estate prices here has also increased a lot right then if we talk about this semicon india this was a 3 day long conference that was organized by india semiconductor mission in partnership with semi then there was a theme for this semicon india that you should remember that is shaping the semiconductor finance this is the theme on which this semicon india was held in greater noida uttar pradesh right next which ministry has recently relaxed the norms for the expenditure exceeding 500 crore rupees to boost capital expenditure that is estimated at 11.11 .11 lakh crore for the financial year 25 so it is ministry of finance correct ministry of finance has relaxed the norms for the expenditures exceeding 500 crore rupees in order to accelerate the capex that is estimated at 11.11 .11 or 11.11 lakh crore for the financial year fy25 this will give boost to the government spending the relaxation is allowed to subject to strict compliance by all ministries and also the bulk expenditures items having value more than 200 2000 crore rupees were to be timed during the second fortnight in the last month of the quarter next rbi clarified that the overseas citizens of india card holders are now eligible for education loan from indian banks as long as they are eligible or as they, as they as long as they are residing in india so the overseas card holders who are residing in india right they can now avail education loan and this education loan can be availed by from indian banks correct take a note of this right only the condition is that these oci card holders they need to reside in india at the time of they will be applying for loan correct and also remember at present the banks that are providing such facilities are sbi hdfc and icici bank next which organization partnered with indian navy that has conducted the second consecutive flight test of vertical launch short range surface to air missile this is drdo defense research and development organization correct drdo they have conducted the second consecutive flight test of vertical launch short range surface to air missile along with indian navy moving on name the state of the art kalwari submarines escape training facility that recently commissioned by the indian navy at ins satavahana in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh so what is the name of it it is vinitra correct it is the name of the vinitra is the kalwari submarine escape training facility that was recently commissioned by indian navy at ins satavahana right that is in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh it was inaugurated by whom it was inaugurated by vice admiral rajesh padkar right and this vinitra this is a facility that will help build confidence and provide training to the submariners next when was the national engineer and national engineer and apophis day correct or we can say just remember when do when was the national engineers day observed across india to commemorate the birth anniversary of bharat ratna sir moksha gundam vishwaryan right so on his birth anniversary sir moksha gundam's birth anniversary we observe national engineers day it is observed on 15th of september right and the first ever national engineers day was observed in 1968 correct and sir moksha gundam he was honored with bharat ratna in 1955 for his contribution in the field of engineering apart from this remember when do we observe world journalist day world sports journalist day is observed on 2nd july next is united nations international day for the preservation of the ozone layer is annually observed across the globe on which day so un international day for the preservation of the ozone layer is annually observed across the globe on 16th of september to spread awareness about the importance of the ozone layer 
the day also creates importance above the ozone layer that is by o3 right there are three molecules of oxygen this helps us to prevent the ultraviolet radiation that is coming directly from the sun right this is colorless ozone is colorless odorless and it plays an important role in our climate change as it gets depleted because of the chlorofluorocarbons and greenhouse gas emissions next name the portal that was recently launched by the ministry of commerce and industry to boost india's startup ecosystem what is the name of that post portal it is baskar what does baskar stands for bharat startup knowledge access registry this is your baskar right this is a portal portal means it is a website that was launched right and it was launched by the ministry of commerce and industry to help the indian startup grow this baskar will be a one stop digital platform that will help us to provide data easy to use connectivity will be there better interaction for the startup ecosystem will be there on this platform next gst council reduced the gst rate on cancer drug these are the drugs correct on which the gst rate has been reduced from what to what so earlier the gst rate was 12% on these drugs and now it has been reduced to just 5% right take a note of this apart from this if we talk about savory snacks on savory snacks the gst has been reduced from 18 to 12% on metal scraps the gst has been reduced from 18% to 12% but on car seats the gst has been increased from 18 to 28% next which of the following points are correct with respect to the 20th meeting of the maritime states development council held in goa from 12 to 13th of september if we look at the options here option b and c is right a is wrong a is saying that the meeting witnessed the key laying ceremony of the india's largest treasure a 10000 cubic meter trailer suction Hopper Dredger at Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited, built in collaboration with IHC Holland. Right? Is it correct? Everything is right. It's just not the ten thousand cubic meter trailer suction Hopper Dredger, but it is twelve thousand cubic meter trailer suction Hopper Dredger. Next, what is the new name of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands capital, Port Blair? Important question. So the new name here is Sir Sri Vijay Puram. right this sri vijayapuram it represents india's victory in the freedom struggle and we know that andaman nicobar and port blair it plays a major role in india's uh, development in india's uh, independence correct and now it has been renamed apart from this if you remember ross island this is an island in andaman it was also renamed to netaji subhash chandra bose dweep and there was a neel island also neel island and havelock islands of andaman they were also renamed neel island was renamed to shaheed dweep and havelock island was renamed to swaraj dweep right next which country hosted the brics literature forum 2024 we just one more thing these are the names that were renamed earlier but recently it was port blair that has been renamed to sri vijayapuram next which country hosted the brics literature forum it is russia that hosted the brics literature forum directly remember it next which country hosted the g20 agriculture ministers meet from 12 to 14th of september it is brazil that hosted the g20 agriculture ministers meet from 12 to 14th of september 2024 next which railway station has been recently awarded the non sub urban group 1 status by the ministry of railways it is vijayawada junction railway station it has been recently awarded with the nsg 01 status by the ministry of railways and this status is given to those stations where the annual revenue is more than 
फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज और द नंबर ऑफ पैसेंजर्स दैट आर विजिटिंग दैट स्टेशन इज मोर देन ट्वेंटी लैक पैसेंजर्स पर एन एम सो इधर ऑफ दीज इधर ऑफ दिस क्राइटेरिया इज फुल और सेटिस्फाइड देन दैट स्टेशन इज अवॉर्डेड विद दिस एन एस जी वन एन एस जी वन स्टेटस एंड इट इज विजयवाड़ा जंक्शन रेलवे स्टेशन एंड वेयर इज दिस स्टेशन लोकेटेड इट इज इन विजयवाड़ा दैट इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ जॉर्डन सो जफार हसन हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ जॉर्डन then if we talk about keir stammer appointed as the new prime minister of uk succeeding rishi sunak mohammad yunus has been appointed uh, or he has been appointed as the chief adviser for the bangladesh in term government and he is a nobel prize winner also next which of the following points are correct with respect to the fourth edition of the global bio india held in new delhi in september 2024 If we look at the options, all these three are rightly mentioned here. Remember the theme; it will be important. Biotech innovation and biotech manufacturing is the theme for the fourth edition of Global Bio India held in New Delhi. Next, name the online platform that was recently launched by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry to facilitate a direct and transparent channel to address trade and industry-related issues. So, Jan Sunway. This is the name of that online platform that was launched by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. That will be basically a direct and transparent challenge channel that will be addressing the trade and industry related issues here. Right, this portal will streamline online services. Right, form filling, digital service, everything will be here. Next, which company has recently secured seven point two billion dollar for seven point two billion rupees funding? from asian development bank and asian infrastructure investment bank for electric bus services expansion in india so which is it it is jbm eco life mobility private limited right they have secured 7.2 billion rupees funding from two organizations asian development bank and asian infrastructure investment bank and this amount will be used to enhance the electric bus services in our india also this funding will help us to, for the procurement of 650 electric buses that will reduce the traditional buses that run on your petrol or diesel next which bank has recently launched generative ai powered virtual relationship manager by the name aditi Aditi this is a VRM that is virtual resource manager launched by which bank it was launched by the bank of baroda right take a note of this important next apart from this gyan sahai.ai this was also launched by bank of baroda this is a generate uh, this is a generative ai enabled knowledge management management platform correct and bank of baroda has also launched adi adi this is a chatbot next which indian company has recognized has been recognized as the number one india headquartered company in the world best companies 2024 list published by time magazine and german based statista it is hcl technologies right it has been recognized as the number one india headquartered company with the world's best companies 2024 list published by time magazine and german based statista correct take a note of this it is hcl technologies limited and globally hcl secured 112th position among all the indian companies next who has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador for the ministry of port shipping and waterways it is manu bakar right manu bakar she has been appointed as the brand ambassador of ministry of port shipping and waterways and she is the women who won two bronze medals won two bronze medals for india during the paris olympic games right her sport is shooting and she is the only indian women to secure or only indian to secure two medals at a given event in olympics 
नेक्स्ट विच कंट्री हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च्ड चामरन वन रिसर्च सैटेलाइट इनटू ऑर्बिट बाय क्वेम हंड्रेड सैटेलाइट कैरियर इट इज विच कंट्री इट इज इरान राइट दिस चामरन वन इट इज अ रिसर्च सैटेलाइट दैट वाज पुट इनटू 550 किलोमीटर्स अबव द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ इनटू एन ऑर्बिट एंड दिस इज अ सैटेलाइट ऑफ इरान इट वॉज लॉन्च यूजिंग क्यूएम हंड्रेड सेटेलाइट कैरियर नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली वन द एफ वन कतर एयरवेज एज ए बाइजान ग्रैंड पिक्स ट्वेंटी सो ऑस्कर पीएसट्री राइट हैज रिसेंटली वन द एफ वन कतर एयरवेज एज ए बाइजान ग्रैंड पिक्स ट्वेंटी देन हु वॉज ऑन सेकेंड पोजिशन चार्ल्स लेसलर हु ड्राइव फॉर फरारी वॉज ऑन द सेकेंड पोजिशन ऑन थर्ड पोजिशन वॉज जॉर्ज रसल ऑफ मोर्सिडीज नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड स्ट्रिक्ट इन्वायरमेंटल कंपनसेशन गाइडलाइंस टू पीनलाइज द वायलेशन ऑफ बैटरी वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट रूल्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज सी पी सी बी दैट इज सेंट्रल पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस दिस स्ट्रिक्ट इन्वायरमेंटल कंपनसेशन गाइडलाइंस टू पीनलाइज द वायलेशन ऑफ द बैटरी वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट रूल्स ऑफ In September, who chaired the second formal meeting of the COP9 and third formal meeting of the Funds Approval Committee under the UNESCO International Convention Against Doping in Sports in New Delhi? So, who chaired them? It was chaired by Dr. Mansukh Mandviya. He is our Union Minister of Youths and Sports, correct? And these meetings they aim to promote inter international collaboration in the fight against doping. What is NADA? and what is wada wada is world anti doping agency and similarly nada is national anti doping agency next external affairs minister dr s j shankar has released the commemorative stamp for celebrating 75 years of diplomatic relationship between india and romania right next which indian port has ranked 24th spot in the recently released O A G S twenty twenty four Mega Hubs Airport. So, which is that airport? It is in Indira Gandhi International Airport that is in New Delhi, and it has secured twenty fourth position in the O A G. O A G is your official airline guide, correct? Of the Mega Hubs Airport list of twenty twenty four. If we talk about Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport that is in Mumbai, it secured forty fourth. position and which is the airport that secured the first position it is the airport of london that is london heathrow airport next india has achieved tier 1 status in the fifth edition of global cyber security index which organization has released the gci 2024 in september 2024 so it is international telecommunication union they have achieved the tier 1 status in the 5th edition of the global cyber security index and which organization released this gci global cyber security index 2024 in september it was released by international telecommunication union next which organization has recently introduced a new framework to streamline bonus share trading it is sebi securities and exchange board of india they have introduced new framework to streamline the bonus share trading next also in this remember uh, the new framework has reduced the time taken right earlier it used to take 2 weeks for these bonus shares to be deposited but now it will just take t plus 2 days moving on who has been recently elected as the president of the 68 general conference of international atomic energy agency so sang wook ham has been appointed as the president of the 68th general conference of iaea right take a note of this this conference is scheduled to be held from 16 to 20th of september and where this will be held this will be held at the headquarter of iaea that is in vienna austria vienna austria 
नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ शस्त्र सीमा बल राइट सो अमृत मोहन प्रसाद हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ शस्त्र सीमा बल ही विल सक्सीड होम अमृत मोहन प्रसाद ही विल बी सक्सीडिंग जल्दी दलजीत सिंह चौधरी नेक्स्ट विच कंट्री हैज वन द एशियन चैंपियनशिप ट्रॉफी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हेल्ड फ्रॉम एट टू सेवनटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एट द मॉकी हॉकी ट्रेनिंग बेस इन चाइना सो विच कंट्री वन द एशियन चैंपियनशिप ट्रॉफी इट वॉज वन बाय आर इंडिया इट इज फॉर द फिफ्थ टाइम दैट इंडिया हैज वन दिस टाइटल दिस वॉज द एट्थ एडिशन ऑफ द एशियन चैंपियनशिप हॉकी दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन चाइना इन मंगोलिया चाइना राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज आर करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द अप्रूवल्स ऑफ द यूनियन कैबिनेट चेयर बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर इफ वे लुक एट द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए एंड बी आर राइट सी इज रॉन्ग सी सेंग दैट चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन विच एम्स टू गैदर एंड इवेल्यूएट टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर रिटर्निंग टू अर्थ फॉलोइंग अ सक्सेसफुल लूनर लैंडिंग एंड ऑल्सो कलेक्ट मून सैम्पल्स एंड एनालाइज दैम ऑन अर्थ राइट इज इट करेक्ट Everything is right here. Just remember that it is Chandrayaan four mission, not Chandrayaan three. It is Chandrayaan four mission that aims to gather and evaluate the technologies for returning the Earth following a successful lunar landing, and also collect the samples there. Next, which country or with which country India has recently signed an extended MOU on maritime time issues? It is with Denmark. Correct. This MOU has been signed between India and Denmark. It was originally signed in 2019. Then it was later revised in 2022. Now the M scope of this MOU has been extended. Also, a center of excellence will be established in India to look after the marine ecosystem and also to enhance the marine security. That can also share the knowledge with Denmark and gather their knowledge also their expertise so that we can enhance our. security next okay one more thing here we are talking about bangladesh here right or remember bangladesh became the fifth full time member of colombo security conclave next name the scheme that was recently launched by ministry of finance which is a saving cum pension scheme for the miners name of that scheme is nps vatsalya scheme in this Thousand rupees will be required to open the account, and then monthly thousand rupees premium will be paid. Correct, and this is basically for the student, basically their childrens. Once they have attained sixty years of age, they can avail the pension here. Right, all the minors who are below eighteen years of age are eligible for this scheme. I correct myself. Not for sixty. When they turn eighteen, they can avail the pension here with this. Next, which organization has recently received the approval to take over Mahi Banaswara project in Rajasthan and to conduct nuclear power plant in India? Which organization it is? It is Anu Shakti Vidyut Nigam Limited. Next, which country has recently became sixth largest market in the Morgan Stanley Capital International All Country World Investable Market Index? it is our india next which organization has recently signed two mous on defense industry cooperation with emirates defense company council and edge group of the united arab emirates so which organization has signed two mous it is society of indian defense manufacturers next which small finance bank has recently launched its liquid plus fixed deposit with an interest rate of 6.75% per annum it is jana small finance bank limited this innovative product is designed to cater to the customer seeking a reliable investment option that balances the return with liquidity to open this fixed deposit the customers needs to invest a minimum of 10 lakh rupees for the retail deposits with up to a maximum of 3 crore rupees Next, which organization has recently received 2024 United Nations Interagency Task Force Award for its significant multi-sectoral action to the prevention and control of NCDs and mental health? 
it is indian council of medical research that is icmr and they have implemented various initiatives that includes the focus of the development on assistive health technologies sustainable assistive products and also they conducted world's largest assistive technology survey that provided them with critical data that will act as a database for further researches next who has been recently appointed as the director general of the narcotics control bureau so anurag garg right has been appointed as the director general of narcotics control bureau anurag garg he is a 1993 batch ips officer of himachal pradesh cadre he will succeed whom he will be succeeding anish dayal singh next which state or union territory celebrated the zaskar festival it is ladakh next which of the following are correct with respect to prime minister narendra modi's visit to jharkhand gujarat and odisha if we look at the option option b and c are right a is wrong a is saying pm modi flagged off seven state of the art vande bharat express trains in jharkhand which improved the connectivity of the routes so is it no not seven but six state of the art vande bharat express trains were flagged off in rajasthan next one more thing you need to remember here subhadra scheme right pm modi launched this subhadra scheme this is a flagship scheme for the government of odisha and it is the largest single women centric scheme that is expected to cover more than 1 crore women there next next is which ministry has recently announced that employees provident fund organization subscribers can withdraw up to 1 lakh rupees from their provident fund accounts for personal finance need that was earlier 50000 rupees so it is ministry of labor and employment next the international center for artificial intelligence research and ethics was classified as category 2 center under unesco correct during the third global ai summit in riyadh australia a uh, riyadh saudi arabia next which organization or bank has approved 50 million dollar loan for climate adaptive community based water harvesting project to enhance water resource management and strengthen climate resilience in the state of meghalaya so which is that bank providing 50 million dollar loan it is asian development bank adb right and it is basically to enhance the water saving resource management projects right that means we can save the water there and utilize it when that the demand is high correct with the help of this amount 532 water storage facilities across the 12 districts will be established also with this amount the tribes there will be benefited that are garo khasi and jantia and these tribes will be taught about the micro irrigation system next according to snp global report title india forward emerging perspectives india is on the track to become the which largest economy in the world by fy31 So according to SNP Global Reports India is expected to become the third largest economy in the world by FY31. Next which country topped the 2024 chain analysis global crypto adoption index it is our India right India was ranked first in the global adoption of the cryptocurrencies for the second straight years on second was Nigeria on third was indonesia right and fourth was usa and fifth is vietnam next which airline has recently became the first indian airline to adopt required navigation performance authorization required flight procedures for the operations at thiruvanthapuram international airport in nepal so which is that airline it is indigo next uh, one more thing remember this rpn ar this is a technology that is specifically designed for the airports in geographically challenging and high altitude regions next which bank has recently fined 31.8 lakh rupees 
by RBI for not adopting a uniform external benchmark within the same loan category. It is BNP Paribas and they were fined 31.8 lakhs for not adopting these uniform external benchmarks within the same loan category. Apart from this, RBI, they have imposed a penalty of 10.4 lakh rupees on HP Financial Services. They RBI also imported imposed a penalty of 23.1 lakh rupees on SMFG India Credit Company and also imposed a penalty of 7.9 lakh rupees on Muthut Vehicle and Asset Finance Limited. Next, which organization has recently signed an MOU with Lulu Group International to showcase certified Indian organic products in its stores across UAE? It is Agriculture and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. Right? This comes under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and they have signed an MOU. It was signed with Lulu Group International to showcase certified Indian organic products in the stores across UAE. This will help us to export more organic products that will be produced by Indian organizations and it will help us to do more export. Next, which firm has recently became the first fintech non-banking financial company to list non-convertible debentures with a face value of 10,000 rupees on the Bombay Stock Exchange? So, which firm has recently became the first fintech non-banking financial company to list NCDs with a face value of 10,000 rupees on the Bombay Stock Exchange. It is Akara Capital Advisors Private Limited. Next, which tribunal has recently granted approval for the merger of TV18 Broadcast and E18.com into Network18 Media and Investment? Which is it? It is National Company Law Tribunal. The approval comes ahead of the larger consolidation effort with the Reliance Industries Limited, India's media business merging with the Walt Disney and the merger recently received clearances from both the CCI and NCLT. Next, which country's army has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Tiranga Mountain Rescue for customized rescue training programs for the instructors? It is our India. Next, which state has recently inaugurated the state's first semiconductor manufacturing OSAT that is Outsource Semiconductor Assembly and Test Plant plant to reduce the country's resilience on import semiconductor chips. So in order to reduce the dependence on the imported semiconductor chips, which state has recently inaugurated the state's first semiconductor manufacturing plant? It is Maharashtra. And two more plants operated by Tata are coming up. One is in Assam and another is in Gujarat. They will start their manufacturing as early as 2026. Next, which city's BEML plant is set to produce India's first high-speed 250 km per hour bullet train to serve the mumbai Ahmedabad high-speed rail corridor? It is Bangalore. Next, when was International Daughters Day celebrated across the globe? So it is fourth Sunday of the September month that we observe International Daughters Day. Correct? Take a note of this. And this time it was on 22nd September. That was a Sunday. So students, that's all for the day. Now let's move to some revision part. Next, who has been recently appointed as the chairman of Central Board of Direct Access that is CBDT? So Ravi Agarwal. Right, Ravi Ravagarwal has been appointed as the new chairman of CBDT and he is a 1988 batch IRS officer. He will be succeeding Nitin Gupta. Next, who recently took charge as the 30th chief of army staff of the Indian army? So, Upendra Divedi. I repeat, Lieutenant General Upendra Divedi, the former vice chief of army staff took charge as the 30th Chief of Army, Staff of the Indian Army. He will succeed whom? He will be succeeding General Manoj Pandey. Next, who was recently appointed as the first female Chief Secretary of Maharashtra? So, Sujata Sonic. Right, a 1987 batch IAS officer of Madra Maharashtra cadre has become 
द फर्स्ट वीमेन चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ महाराष्ट्र शी विल बी हेयर फॉर वन ईयर बिफोर रिटायरिंग टिल जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली सिलेक्टेड एज द ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ चेयरमैन ऑफ स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया बाई एफ एस आई बी सो सी एस ए टी हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चेयरमैन ऑफ स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही विल बी सक्सीडिंग होम ही विल बी सक्सीडिंग दिनेश कुमार खारा नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली इलेक्टेड एज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कस्टम्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो एडवर्ड की स्वेटर राइट हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द न्यू चेयरपर्सन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कस्टम्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द फोर्टी सिक्स चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ ओडिशा स्टेट सो मनोज जैन हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द फोर्टी सिक्स चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ ओडिशा स्टेट नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश सिद्धार्थ मोनो आई करेक्ट माई सेल्फ हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश मनोज कुमार सिंह हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चीफ सेक्रेटरी ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ एल आई सी सो राइट ऑप्शन हेयर इज सिद्धार्थ मोहाटी राइट ही हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर of l i c right next in july puma india named indian cricketers nitesh kumar reddy and dash as their brand ambassadors so riyan parag puma india has named indian cricketers nitesh kumar reddy and riyan parag as their brand ambassadors next who has been recently appointed as the chief justice of jharkhand high so justice dr vidyut ranjan sarangi right has been appointed as the chief justice of jharkhand high court and he will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding justice shri chandrashekhar next who has recently sworn in as the 13th chief minister of jharkhand so who has recently sworn in as the 13th chief minister of jharkhand hemant soren Correct. Who is the governor of Jharkhand? C. P. Radha Krishnan. Right. And this is for the third time that Hemant Soren has been appointed as the Chief Minister of Jharkhand. Who has recently appointed as the new head coach of the ICC Senior Men's up to 2027? So we are talking about cricket here. Indian Senior Men's cricket team coach is Gautam Gambhir. Now he succeeded whom? He succeeded Rahul. Dravid and he will be in this position till twenty twenty seven. Next, which organization has recently been named as the principal sponsor of the Indian team at the twenty twenty four Paris Olympic Games? So, Adani Group is the principal sponsor of the Indian team at the twenty twenty four Paris Olympic Games. Next, Puma India has recently partnered with the Indian Olympic Association to become the official footwear partner for the Indian contingent at the. dash so puma india they have recently partnered with indian olympic association to become the official footwear partner for the indian contingent at the paris olympic games 2024 and this partnership will provide over 100 athletes with various equipments that include your footwear bags accessories etc next which of the following statement is are correct in incorrect with respect to the 137th edition of the wimbledon championship from 1st to 14th of july in london uk we are talking about the one that is incorrect so option b is incorrect that means a and c are right a is saying spain's carlos alcaraz has won 2024 gentlemen's single title defeating novak djokovic of serbia right c is saying great britain's henry patton and finland's harry Heliovara won the 2024 men's double title by defeating Austria's Max Purcell and Jordan Thompson. This is also right. B is saying that Iga Swiatek of Poland has won the women's single title, defeating Jasmine Paolini of Italy. Is it right? No, not Iga Swiatek. Remember, she was Barbara Krasovic, Barbara of Czech Republic has won the women's single title, defeating Jasmine. Paulini of Italy now all the options are right next 
who won the 17th edition of the Union of European Football Association that is UEFA European Football Championship held in Germany it was won by Spain correct so we can say Spain has won the Euro Cup for the fourth time and Spain previously won the title in 1964 then in 2008 then in 2012 and now in 2024 that is the fourth time they have won it next which country recently won the 48th edition of copa america held in usa it is argentina copa america is related to which sport it is related to football and who won it it was won by argentina this was the 48th edition of copa america that was held and argentina has won it next indian champions team led by yuvraj singh won the inaugural edition of the world championship of legends that was hosted by england country it was hosted from 3rd to 13th of july this inaugural this world championship of legend is basically this was a tournament of cricket in which the previous cricketers or the retired cricketers took part from various countries here and our indian champions team has here led by yuvraj singh won this inaugural edition next which country has recently signed a 12 year deal with the international olympic committee to host the first olympic e sports games in 2025 it is saudi arabia saudi arabia will be hosting the first ever e sports game and they will be hosting this in 2025 correct take a note of this next Name the BTS member who recently became the first ever Korean singer to carry the 2024 Paris Olympic Games torch. So who is that BTS member? Kim Seok Jin, right? His stage name is Jin. He is a BTS member and he participated in the torch lay of the Paris Olympic Games. Correct? Take a note of this. And he became the first ever K-pop singer to carry a Olympic torch. next who has been recently appointed as the representative for south asia in the asian paralympic committee so deepa malik has been appointed as the representative for south asia in the asian paralympic committee correct also remember she is related to short put and she became the first female para athlete to win a silver medal in the short put category at the rio 2016 Para Olympic Games. She was honored with Arjuna Award in 2012, Padma Shri in 2017, and Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award in 2019. Next, who recently won the All India Football Federation Men's Footballer of the Year 23-24? So, Lelianzula Changate. He has won the AIFF Men's Footballer of the Year for 23-24, and Indu Mati. Indumati Kathrisan she is an indian women's football player she is from tamil nadu and she has been named as the aiff women footballer of the year for 23 24 and elinzula changate he is from mizoram both are important take a note on them next name the organization that recently in partnership with blue origin announced india as a partner nation in their human space flight program What is the name of that organization? It is SERA, Space Exploration and Research Agency. They have recently partnered with Blue Origin and have announced India as their partner nation in their human spy space flight program. Right under this partnership, SERA will offer citizens from across the world six seats on future missions of New Shepard Blue Origin's reusable suborbital rocket. Beside India, Nigeria. Maldives they have been allotted with a seat on this mission of blue origin and here the rockets or here these astronauts six selected astronauts will be on a fly mission of 11 minutes into the space using this shepherd rocket of new origin a uh, blue origin next nasa is set to launch a telescope that has been named dash in 2040 to find proof of extraterrestrial life that are aliens and inhabited planets beyond our solar system so what is the name of that telescope it is habitable worlds observatory this is the name of the telescope that will be launched by 
NASA. It will be launched in 2040 and it will be studying aliens. It will be finding the life or extraterrestrial life and it will be finding aliens and inhabited planets that are beyond our solar system. Next. In July, Roscosmos, that is Russia's space organization, they have approved the schedule for the creation of sub or Russian orbital station by which year. So this Russian orbital station will be scheduled to be completed by 2033 and it will be a space station of Russia. Your homework is name the space station of India. Right? There will be five modules in this space station of Russia. And when will be the first module launched and what is the expected date? Also give me the name of this space station this is your homework next turkey they have launched the first indigenously developed communication satellite by the name turksect 6a through space exploration technologies falcon 9 rocket question asked is that is turksect 6a has been developed by which organization so this turksect 6a is developed by slsan right it is developed by slsan Next, France, Germany, Italy and Poland, they have signed a letter of intent to jointly develop DASH during the NATO's 75th anniversary summit that was held in Washington DC, USA. So France, Germany, Italy and Poland, they have signed a letter of intent to de jointly develop this long range cruise missile, right? And this was signed during the NATO's 75th anniversary summit that was held in Washington DC. Your another homework is to tell me who is the new Secretary General of NATO. Next, name the European Space Agency's new heavy lift rocket that has been recently launched into space for the first time from Europe's spaceport in French Guinea. Name of that is Ariana 6. Correct, it is ESA, European Space Agency. Their new heavy lift rocket has been launched into space for the first time. Correct, and French Guinea was an observer department of France in South Africa from where this was launched. This is a 63 meter tall rocket and it has been built with an estimate of 4 billion euros. Next, name the company that recently launched four new anti-drone products namely Hawkeye, Barbaric, Sthir Step 640 and Prashasta. So which is that company they have launched these four new anti-drone products. So they have been launched by Zen Technologies Limited. Correct. And remember here Hawkeye, this is a state of the art anti-drone system with various center, various sensor detection modules. Correct. Also, if we talk about this Barbaric, Barbaric is the world's lightest remote controlled weapon station. Then if we talk about Prasasta, this is an autonomous quadrupt that is used, that uses light detection, radio, uh, light detection and ranging that is LiDAR technology. So question can be asked which of the following is a product that has been launched by Zen Technologies Limited that uses LiDAR technology. It is Prasastha. Correct. This will be used basically for real time 3D terrain mapping and also for navigation and threat assessment. Next, which company recently received the authorization from InSpace to provide ground station as a service? So which is that organization? It is Dhruva Space Private Limited. They have received the authorization from InSpace to provide GSAS that is ground station as a service. Right. Also remember this will enable to provide crucial ground support and also will enable real time satellite satellite communication and control on the ground. Next, scientists from DASH have recently generated the first underseas map of Ram Setu or Adams Bridge using the laser technology from NASA's ICE Set 2. So these are the scientists from NASA, right? And they have recently generated the first undersea map of the Ram Setu. This is India, this is Sri Lanka, and this is your Ram Setu. This is also known as your Adams Bridge, and the underground map of this Ram Setu bridge has been recently developed using the laser technology from the NASA's ICE Set 2 satellite and this has been done by the uh, scientists from NASA. Next, this space organization has recently discovered six new exoplanets and these are the name of these six new exoplanets that have been recently discovered. So they were discovered by the scientists of NASA. Next, name the new high resolution optical earth observation satellite that was recently launched by china into space on board using launch long march 4b carrier rocket from its taiwan satellite launch center 
सो वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट हाई रेजोल्यूशन अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सेटेलाइट इट इज गाउफ एन इलेवन जीरो फाइव एंड दिस इज ऑफ चाइना टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस इन जून ट्वेंटी फोर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेली कम्युनिकेशन हैज इंट्रोड्यूस डैश फॉर मेकिंग सर्विस एंड ट्रांजेक्शनल वॉइस कॉल्स सो द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेली कम्युनिकेशन हैज इंट्रोड्यूस वॉट दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सीरीज फॉर मेकिंग सर्विस एंड ट्रांजेक्शनल कॉल्स नेक्स्ट सॉफ्टवेयर टेक्नोलॉजी पार्कस ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑटोनोमस सोसाइटी दैट कम्स अंडर द डैश सेलिब्रेटेड देयर थर्टी थर्ड फाउंडेशन डे ऑन सिक्स ऑफ जून अंडर द थीम दैट इज पॉजिशनिंग भारत एज अ टेक प्रोडक्ट नेशन सो सॉफ्टवेयर टेक्नोलॉजी पार्क ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑटोनोमस बॉडी दैट कम्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंफॉर्मेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेलिब्रेटेड देयर थर्टी थर्ड फाउंडेशन ऑन सिक्स ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड हेयर यू कैन सी द थीम ऑफ दिस डे नेक्स्ट नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज वॉन इन एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया फॉर द थर्ड कॉन्सिक्यूटिव टाइम आफ्टर द बीजेपी लेड एन डी ए गॉट द मेजोरिटी इन द विच एडिशन ऑफ लोकसभा इलेक्शन सो दे वॉर द एटीन एडिशन ऑफ लोकसभा इलेक्शन एंड दिस इज द थर्ड कॉन्सिक्यूटिव टाइम प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द पी एम ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट हु हैज रिसेंटली बिकेम द इंडियन नेवीज फर्स्ट वीमेन हेलीकॉप्टर पायलट नेम दैट पायलट अनामिका राजीव राइट शी बिकेम द Indian Navy's first women helicopter pilot Anamika Rajiv Next which organization has recently launched the AIM ICDK Water Challenge 4.0 and the fifth edition of the Innovation for You aims to foster innovation and sustainability in India This is Niti Aayog right Niti Aayog this is the organization that launched this AIM ICDK Water Challenge 4.0 and the fifth edition of the innovations for you that aims to foster innovation and sustainability in india next which state has became the first in india to announce 1 crore rupees in insurance compensation for employees who passed away in road accidents that will be karnataka right karnataka state became the first state in india to announce 1 crore rupees compensation in insurance for the employees who passed away in road accidents next in june the government of india extended the digital health incentive scheme by a year up to what it has been extended up to 30th of june 2025 earlier it was ex- uh, finishing on 30th of june 2024 but now it has been increased also remember as a part of the scheme the hospitals will receive 20 rupees per patient for digitizing the health records and linking them with abha id next which state secretariat has recently became the india's first eco friendly state government headquarter it is of assam state right assam secretariat became the india's first green state government headquarter with the inauguration of 2.5 megawatt solar project on the campus of janta bhavan in dispur guwahati assam this secretariat complex will now sir run solely on the solar power installed with using 12.5 crore rupees of fund next which of the following terms were defined by the newly introduced offshore areas rules 2024 by the government of india so which of the following terms were defined all four of them right all the above were defined next which airport has recently received the license extension from the director general of civil aviation for a period of 5 years so which is that airport it is maharshi valmiki international airport of ayodhya up and they have granted they have been granted a license for a period of 5 years and this is an international airport also remember the jever airport that will also be in up and it will also be an international airport next name the state that has recently launched the first of its kind centralized admission portal for admission to the undergraduate courses in the state government colleges and recognized universities it is west bengal next the government of india has notified that some sections of the telecommunication act of 23 are set to be effective from from 26th of june 2024 next next is which of the following points are correct with respect to the three new criminal laws that came into effect on 1st of july 2024 If we look at the options, all these three are rightly mentioned. Which are the three laws? Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita, Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sanhita, and Bharatiya Saksha 
Abhinian Act. All these three acts will be coming into effect from 1st of July 2024. These are the three new criminal laws. Next, the Bureau of Indian Standard introduced two new standards that is IS-18590 and IS-18606 to enhance the safety and quality of DASH in India. This is to enhance the safety and quality of electric vehicles in India. Next, which educational research institute has recently received a license from India affiliate of the Institute of Risk Management to set up India's first and East India's only global center for enterprise risk management that is ERM. So which educational research institution has received this license? It is Sri Sri University of Odisha. Correct. Take a note of this. This provides the students with the access to IRMs that is Institute of Risk Management's global resource and training that allow them to develop various skills in risk informed business such as leadership, entrepreneurship, corporate management and so on. Next, which Indian state is set to establish the Jatayu uh, Conservation and Breeding Centers that's the world's first conservation and breeding center for Asian king vultures that is Uttar Pradesh. Right. This is the Indian state that is set to establish Jatayu Conservation and Breeding Centers. That is the world's first conservation and breeding center for Asian King Vultures. Next, Dr. Jitendra Singh, our Union Minister of States, having the independent charge for science and technology, launched one week, one theme campaign under DASH to demonstrate the recent success stories of India in various streams of science and technology. So it is Council for Scientific and Industrial Research that is Dr. Jitendra Singh they have launched this one week one theme campaign under CSIR to demonstrate the recent success stories of India in the various streams of science and technology so that other people can also get encouraged through these stories. Next in which state did the Ministry of Coal launch the India's first ever underground coal gasification pilot project at the Kasta Coil block. It is Jharkhand state and the project here aims to revolutionize the coal sector by using the in situ gasification unit in order to convert them into valuable gas such as methane, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Next, who has been recently appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of Paytm Payments Bank Limited, Arun Kumar Bansal has been appointed as Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Paytm Payments Bank Limited. He will succeed whom? He will be succeeding Surendra Chawla. He will be succeeding Surendra Chawla. Next, who has been recently appointed as the new Prime Minister of Nepal succeeding Pushpa Kamal Dahel Prachanda? So, K.P. Sharma Oli has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of Nepal and he will be succeeding Pushpa Kamal Dahel Prachanda. Right? Next, who has been recently appointed as the Chairman and Managing Director of Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited? So, Robert Gerard Ravi has been appointed as the Chairman and Managing Director of BSNL. Correct? And he will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Praveen Kumar Purwar. Correct. Next, who has been recently appointed as the co-chair of the Alliance of CEO Climate Leaders? So, Suman Sina has been appointed as the co-chair of the Alliance of the CEO Climate Leaders. Correct. Take a note of this. And Sina has been the co-chair of India part of the alliance since 2022 and he joins a group of international business leaders in this role collaborating with various figures globally correct take a note of this also remember this alliance of ceo climate leaders this is a flagship event of world economic world economic forum that was launched in 2014 and it is the largest ceo led climate alliance in the world Next, who has been recently re-elected as the President of European Parliament till 2027? So, Roberta Metzola has been re-elected as the President of European Parliament till 2027. And she became the first woman to win a second term as the President of European Parliament. 
नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ रवांडा सो पॉल कगामे हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ रवांडा नेक्स्ट विच बैंक हैज रिसेंटली रिसीव द नॉड फ्रॉम आर बी आई फॉर द री अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ कादम्बली पॉल थॉमस एज मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ द बैंक फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स सो दिस इज विच बैंक इट इज योर ई एस ए एफ स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द ग्रुप चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ एच एस बी सी होल्डिंग पी एल सी राइट ऑप्शन इज जॉर्ज एल हेड्री राइट हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द ग्रुप चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ एच एस बी सी होल्डिंग पी एल सी एंड ही इज द थर्ड सीईओ ऑफ एच एस बी सी होल्डिंग पी एल सी इन द लेस देन एट ईयर्स नेक्स्ट हु रिसेंटली गॉट अ थ्री मंथ टेन्योर एक्सटेंशन फ्रॉम द अपॉइंटमेंट कमिटी ऑफ द कैबिनेट टू कंटिन्यू एज द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ द एन एच पी सी लिमिटेड सो राजेंद्र गोयल राजेंद्र प्रसाद गोयल ही गॉट थ्री मंथ एक्सटेंशन करेक्ट फ्रॉम ए सी सी टू कंटिन्यू एज द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ एन एच पी सी लिमिटेड नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ फेडरल बैंक लिमिटेड फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सो के वी सुब्रमण्यम करेक्ट ही हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज एम डी एन सी ईओ ऑफ फेडरल बैंक फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स एंड ही विल रिप्लेस होम ही विल बी रिप्लेसिंग श्याम श्रीनिवासन नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन रिसेंटली अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ एस्टोनिया so right option it is christian michael has been appointed as the new prime minister of estonia next who has recently became an acting president of myanmar so min ong hang has became the acting president of myanmar next who has recently assumed the charge of chairman and managing director of broadcast engineering consultant india limited so dk murali he assumed the charge as the chairman and managing director of broadcast engineers consultants india limited he has also served in indian navy for nearly 35 years and he was commissioned in november 18 uh, 1989 next who has been recently elected as the international olympic committee member from india so neeta mukesh ambani right she is the founder of reliance foundation and has been elected for the second term as the member of international olympic committee from india she received 100% of the votes at the 142nd ioc session that was held from 22nd to 24th of july in paris france and she became the first Indian women or first women from India to join IOC in 2016 next which ministry has recently launched a 100 day special awareness campaign on women empowerment it is ministry of women child and development right they have recently launched a 100 day special campaign on women empowerment next in june union health minister jagat prakash nadda that is jp nadda launched the national dash campaign so jp nadda ji has launched the stop diarrhea campaign 2024 also remember there was a slogan for this campaign that was launched the slogan is diarrhea ki roktham safai aur ors se rakhe apna dhyan and here union health minister jagat prakash nadda that is jp nadda ji launched this campaign so stop diarrhea next name the union minister who recently launched the fast track immigration trusted traveler program to expedite the immigration process for pre verified indian nationals and overseas citizens of india card holders so who any individual who is a pre verified indian national and having the or other is overseas citizens of india card holders they will be allowed to make entry into the uh Uh, airports right basically we can say they, that will be a fast track immigration process that will reduce the time for the immigration process and it will be a much quicker way so that the all the process of immigration is taken in a quick manner 
that will reduce the time for the passengers to board on the flight so question asked is who is that union minister who launched this fast track immigration trusted traveler program it was launched by amit shah who is our union home minister next which central public sector undertaking has recently received the navratna status from the department of public enterprise under the ministry of finance it is which madgaon dock ship builders limited take a note of this moving on name the central public sector undertaking that has recently received the mini ratna category 1 status from the department of public enterprise under the ministry of finance it is central electronics limited cel 